thank you so much. You are so kind. But unfortunately, we have just 10 minutes. And after 10 minutes, they are going to kick me out of here. <laughs> no, uh, um, I have been trying to work in terms to always incorporate some kind of uh, Cuban feeling and rhythms into a classical pieces. That was an example I did before playing actually the music of the one and only George Gatrin and Ernesto Lecuona and incorporating some solos in there. And now uh, using a very good uh, or, or taking a advantage of a technology, well, we are in Palo Alto, uh, I was able to get hold of, of a wonderful composer. His name is Johann Sebastian Bach. <laughs> yeah, we did FaceTime. <laughs> and uh, I asked him for the possibility to take one of his very uh, uh, popular, well-known uh, prelude and fugue for piano, so very classical. It is this one. And incorporate into a rhythm in Cuba we call Latin jazz. Latin jazz because, uh, let me take just two seconds, because Latin, because the rhythm, we use the last of uh, Cuban percussion, and jazz because we use a lot of concepts of jazz, the harmony, the improvisation, lots of things. That's why it is called Latin jazz. And uh, so, originally, the prelude, it is like this. And then, after I talked to him, and he definitely agreed on, on make a little change, <laughs> I incorporate a kind of, uh, let's say, Cuba, uh, 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 Cuban feeling left hand, and then I try to never sacrifice at least the melody is doing on the right hand. So w once I start to play the prelude, it is exactly what, ha what he wrote. So this is kind of the feeling of it. In that case, you can either keep sitting and listen back, or just stand and dance <laughs> with back music. But uh, thank you so much, and I, I, I decide to call this piece up uh, from back to La Habana. <laughs> <laughs>